Hey guys, Bob Saget here. Welcome to Super Mega Cast episode 190. That's right. Uh, it's your boy Matt and uh, uh, your other Ryan. boy. Yeah, Ryan. Ryan, my boy. Look at us wearing shorts both today. It's the first day of the year I'm wearing shorts. I'm always wearing shorts though. Those are not. Are those new shorts? Uh, I just don't wear them. Up I gotta often. say, those are those are they're not gym shorts. They're definitely the most know? stylish shorts of the ones you got. <laughs> I was looking at the if, back; they got to, that nice pocket. To, to put it into perspective, when he says stylish, uh, usually I wear gym shorts. So, like, what what he sees as style are gray, sw uh, gray, like sweat shorts. Yeah, like thin sweat shorts with like a very thin gray and. Whitish. It's like a it's like a, a fabric textile. Yeah, they're nice. Though. I like them. They're Thanks, looking man. good. Looking good, man. See these? Yeah. Oh, I see those. I see the. I see those little those little <laughs> those little prunes hanging down. <laughs> Thanks, man. I see. I got. I'm wearing a bathing suit today because I, yeah. I don't have any. Uh, shorts. I like the style though. You I don't have got, any shorts. So. You got your. Oh man, let me take off my shoes. Get all comfortable. I got my Nike slides. They're actually not mine. They're one of my roommates. And then I got my my small short bathing suit on and a t-shirt. Hmm. That's what we're wearing today, ladies and gentlemen. What Ryan's are y'all wearing, huh? Yeah, tell us in the comments what you guys are wearing. I'm curious to find out. Um, but yeah, episode 190. Uh, what a what a week it's been. It's very hot in LA today. It's starting to feel like summer a little bit. I know that's the thing with LA. It just changes on a dime. There's no gradual heat up. It's just like this week. Uh, it's going to be. It's 96. been windy, nice and cool outside during uh, nighttime, and now not so. Uh, oh, it was very windy uh, last night. For me, at least. Not for you. Blowing the trees everywhere, making Lego screech and scream. <laughs> I don't know. Lego's such a bitch, dude. <laughs> um, wait, did I show you? I sent you the picture of him, like, cowering under, like, my back table. It was, it was just from the rain. What, yeah. not, not even the thunder. There was no he doesn't like water. He had, to, he had to sleep next to my bed last night because he got scared. Aww. I can't let him on my bed because, you know. He gets out there with his paws and he's all dirty. He might bring in like something. I don't know. I just got a new bed yesterday. You did. And because uh, Mandy peed on it. Yeah. Mandy's not my girlfriend. Mandy is like the cat I've been fostering who has five tiny little Siamese kittens who are uh, getting they're, they're, They can't walk yet, but their eyes have all opened up and they're, they're all wobbly. They're trying to stand up. I could see uh, progress being made. I'm waiting for their ears. Is to mother going to teach them to to walk? Yeah. Oh, I think it's coming up. Uh, speaking of <gasps> fun animal updates, we have one final update with uh, Wanda and her her two children. Yep. Uh, I came to the office yesterday and uh, I saw that one was kind of standing on a fence, and then another one was just kind of on the ground of our patio. And Matt was Matt said that they were just kind of there. Like yeah, the because ground. I got here a little before you, and I went outside. And they're alive. They, they're yeah, not like they're not dead on the. Fence. <laughs> yeah, uh, they were sitting under the nest, so they jumped out of the nest, and they were both just sitting underneath it. And when I came outside, and I guess that freaked them out, and uh, they went flying, and then so they could fly, and yeah. now they're they're gone. They flew away. They so they left the nest. So that's the end of the Wanda how, saga. How many how many episodes did that was that saga? Four or five, I think. Well, you know how like Chris Chan. Has different sagas. Yeah. What are what are sagas for us? We have the Ming saga. We have uh oh fuck. There's there's a lot. There there's a lot of sagas on this podcast. But le leave it to fifty percent of the podcast, one of the hosts, and not what, be able to remember any of what them. What saga is Christine in right now? What's she up to? The uh the uh dimensional merge saga. Is that I thought the dimensional merge was coming. Could, that's is, a, she, is she the prophet for the dimensional? Yes, merge? she is currently in the dimensional merge. So that that's the current ongoing saga. Uh, that's the only one I know about. Still waiting for episode thirty six. I know episode thirty. Well, that's all the talk of Chris Chan today. Yeah, we have nothing new to talk about. There's no new episode. <laughs> I, well, we do have something new to talk about in terms of entertainment. I want to talk about Better Call Saul. I want that season finale. Oh yeah, wait. Did we not? Oh yeah, the last time uh, we recorded the podcast, I was editing, and we we're like, oh, only one more episode left. Do 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 do. Do you care? Um, if I go grab some water, because I'm getting heartburn. Uh, of course not. As long as you grab your boy a, a glass as well, maybe. Maybe put some ice in it, too. Oh. Well, what next? You want some spit, Ryan? Jesus Christ. Why Why would I want your spit? It's, it's, why would that be a thing I ask? It's a saying where it's like, can I get you anything else? Are you good on spit? Yes, I'm good on spit. Okay, so you just want I water. produce my own just saliva water. like most humans, yes. What I need is is water. <laughs> That is some good water. That's great water. You make that shit good. Thanks, man. It's mother's recipe. Mm. It was a big ass spider. 
in the room. Where? Right Are there water Literally bars? right above oh, me. Right above me. Two thoughts me. at once. So first thought, spider. Oh, I see him. It's directly above oh, me. Oh, it's one of those now. It, it, now it's one of those nice little house spiders, though. It's not little. No, no, it's not little, but it's not. It's not. It's the one that has, it's like a little, I don't think it's daddy a, long legs, I don't think it's, it's a pest. I think it's like, it just makes cobwebs. We'll get all the little insects. Thank you. That's definitely not an insect. That's an insect that a roach would kill though. Yes, but that's, that, that's, that's an insect that would kill tiny things like gnats. He's doing us a favor. I just hate that it's directly above my head in the corner of the wall. No, I'll let so you know. If it ever fell, if it he's, came down. If, if he's coming down, I'll let you know. But the, the second thought I, 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 for some reason came into my brain was, are there water bars? Is there such thing as like a water bar where you just go and hydrate? Just go and drink water? I mean, there's different kinds of water. What, what, what kinds of water are there? Carbonated water, different oh. flavors of water. Okay. They, they artificially flavor their own water. Or maybe not artificially flavor. They flavor their own water. Damn, dude. That's actually not a bad idea. Like, hey, man, you want to go grab a water? They have like nice little plates that are like very healthy, like little salads and stuff. It's a place for uh, the people who need to lose weight like me could go and still enjoy like that carbonation. Or like and, recovering alcoholics. Yeah. Too. Like, hey, man, you want to go grab a water sometime? Ryan, why don't you just go to a restaurant and order some water and and a salad? Maybe. M- maybe. Nah. I think they should make a make I think a, water make a bars water, are a better idea. Water like water <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude, water bar is a pretty pretty nifty idea, honestly. That, that feels like one of those LA things that would open up and and everyone would be like, ooh, and then it would close three months later because you can't make money off. Are <laughs> it they definitely sounds like water? a place that would open up for like a few weeks in the Galleria in Glendale. Are they gonna like? That's the thing is is are they gonna sell water? Mm-hmm. They like how much is a. <sighs> Are the, they gonna have like expensive no, no, water? Then it's the best water too. Mm. Best water. Mm. Are they gonna have like expensive water too though? Where it's like, no, it's all affordable. Because you go, but to, they you, do have expensive water. You this this probably will come as a shock to a lot of people that live in mixed with vitamins. They'll put powdery ooh, vitamins in there. Gr- for grind you. up some like they do it, vitamins. Like they do it um, Jamba Juice, except it's gonna be put in your water. This or pop- Ryan, you could go to a convenience store, or a grocery store, and buy the vitamins you would need pertaining to the diet and the day-to-day life no, no, that no. you because I could go live. to the convenience store and buy myself a six-pack of beers or I could go out to a bar and enjoy a beer exactly that's much more enjoyable for me okay and this might come as a shock to a lot of a lot of people that maybe live in uh more rural parts of America but in LA a cocktail can be like 15 16 bucks mm-hmm. so at this water bar how expensive is like a nice water cocktail, like like I want five bucks, five bucks, five bucks, five bucks for D- nice, that's Disneyland territory. Ni- yeah, but then you can pitch in with your friends and get a get a cauldron of water. Get a, a, a cauldron, <laughs> not a pitcher. They bring out like a big iron cauldron. Yeah, all right. Probably some disease. I'll take a hot water. Um, she'll take a carbonated. Matt, yeah, you're. This is this is. I something big happened to me this morning. What happened? I switched teams and all of an instant. You're gay now? No. No. Oh. God, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Kidding. Kind of. Um, <laughs> no. um, I I went to Ralph's uh, to get some, not this morning, but like a week ago to kind of get some more groceries so I can make sandwiches and shit so I don't have to go out or order too much yeah. food. Um. One of the things I wanted to purchase was Jif creamy peanut butter. They were all out. There was nothing else but extra crunchy. And I was like, oh, I was like, no. Ah. So I bought some because I'm like, it's still peanut butter. It's peanut butter toast. It'll be fine. I had my first slice of extra crunchy peanut butter toast. And might I say that might be the best peanut butter toast a man has ever had in his life. I love crunchy. crunchy, extra crunchy, extra cr- like it's just so it adds so much texture to it, the just bread and like some. Mm. It's just it, you don't want this this same smooth, you know. Yeah, yeah. Add a little, you know add the, a little spice in there. You know what the next move is what? Extra crunchy peanut butter and jelly sandwich, toasted, extra crunchy jelly. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> um, 
I, I love crunchy. I used to be like strictly a, a, a smooth guy. And then I kind of just hit this point where I'm like, why is there a war over this? They're both good. I really, it's starting to scare me because like, you know, when you're young and you're like, oh, extra crunchy is for old people. And I'm like, oh shit. It is for older people. It's not. It, well, it is, but it's the same thing as like when you're young, you can eat a whole bag of like can't. Candy. Like I, I don't go out and like now even at the movies, I'll look at the candy and I'm just mm -hmm. like, I'm fine. I, I just want popcorn, popcorn and I'll have a soda at a movies. But usually I, I, I think I want like some wine. Yeah, I, I don't get soda at restaurants really anymore either unless it's fast food. If I get McDonald's, I got to get a Coke. Here's Yeah, here's the thing. There's There's two specific fast food restaurants that. They have specific drinks that make the dining experience of those fast food restaurants even greater. The one that you just mentioned is McDonald's with Coca-Cola. That's a classic American the, meal. The second for me is Chick-fil-A and Sprite. I love the mm. way Sprite is is dancing along with, with, with the chicken in terms of flavors. As interesting, you're, interesting. It's 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 ex it's exquisite. I don't know if I've ever tried that. I usually get sweet tea with Chick Fil A. That's what I've always paired it. I showed you I uh, <laughs> I went to the wrong place. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> the water went down the wrong pipe. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> Just your hand straight up. Uh. It'll clear it out. Fun fact, y'all, if you're ever choking on, like, water or something small, I'm not talking, like, choking <coughs> on a piece of chicken, but, like, <sighs> got a little, like, something on the wrong pipe, stick your hands up and reach for the sky, it'll clear out your, uh, system real good. It'll make you cough real hard, and you got what big was I, tears. What was I saying? I, I don't know. That scared me. I thought you were gonna die on me. We're talking about, we're talking about, talking about Sprite. Sweet I, tea, sweet tea. I order, I have, in my place, with the Chick-fil-A -fil logo on it and everything, a big gallon of sweet tea from Chick Fil A. It ain't bad. I think I I think I remember you have a bias towards sweet tea made in California, right? Well, no. I, well, Chick Fil A sweet tea is is it's always good. But I've have said in the past my my gripes with Chick Fil A sweet tea exactly because it's or not, I guess honestly it's, it's not just clean. Blah, it's blah, all blah. fast food sweet tea. Yeah, because you got to <laughs> think about the things they're brewing in it. They're just unless it's actually I gotta say McDonald's does them in plastic bags that they change out. Which I think they all should do because we, you have this metal urn. Well, you haven't worked there in a while. Yeah, you know what? It's been years. They could have changed it. I should go back and <clears> see if I can pick up a shift. If there are any uh, employees of fast food restaurants out there, uh, could you tell? Uh, I'm interested. Um, did working there change the frequency and your like kind of way of, you know, you're driving and all of a sudden you see a McDonald's? You know, remember when we're on tour, we'd see a McDonald's. We're like, oh, we're fucking hungry. Yeah. Like, I could use some fucking McDonald's. If you worked at a McDonald's, um, does that change? Are you going to go, oh, no, guys. No, they they, they poop in your fries there. <laughs> yeah, we all we all do it. It's just a thing we all do at McDonald's. I mean, it's, it's kind of like a rite of passage, but let's just not go there. You got to shit in someone's fries at least one. I have some stories that I can't, I'm not going to tell on the podcast from working in fast food. Nothing I did, just things that I witnessed and things I heard about uh, that definitely uh, changed my outlook on the fast food industry. Uh, just, you know, it's like, guys, when it comes to fast food, just don't, don't read, don't read about it. Just ig got, ignorance is bliss. Enjoy your question fast food. for you. Yeah. What's the probability that if you frequent fast food, and most, I think a lot of people do in America, um, if you frequent fast food, what are the chances at some point you've ingested cum? Some asshole put cum in your food. Well, see, here's the thing about cum is that, that, that's, that's a long thought out process, you know, like to get the cum on the food because... I'm, I'm imagining the guy isn't I'll like... I'll switch it to make it even scarier. Spit. I think spit's the... I've go definitely eaten spit before. There's no there's no way I've gone my whole life eating through restaurants, uh, fast food places, and no one has just for fun spit on my burger, spit on I something. never saw that the three years I worked fast food. I never saw anyone spit on anything. But the probability of never having eaten spit? That, that's true. It's... <clears throat> I, I feel like spit's too easy because it's just like... That's like the goat's going spit on his food. Yeah, but just, I don't, I don't know if people just like if someone's just I guess people do that yeah like you know I, if I if, if I worked in fast food I'd take the burger oh no. I'd put it right up and I'd just go <laughs> you know take that Jeff Bezos <laughs> is he coming into McDonald's <laughs> the one you work at yeah what's up with his eye has he ever addressed that 
What? Like what? Have you noticed how Jeff Bezos has like one of his eyes looks like a cyborg eye? No. What? L- look up pictures of Jeff Bezos. I noticed this recently when I was looking at him. He Jeff like Bezos. his eyes are not uh not like one of his eyes is different. I accidentally typed in Jeff Bezos. <laughs> I am Jeff Bezos. Not related. Oh, uh, one's like normal and the other's just fully awake all the time. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like it's all the way open. Like uh he got really surprised one day, but only half surprised. It's probably is that his like wife, a, Jeff Bezos' wife. Oh, ex-wife, right? Ex-wife. How y- the richest woman on earth now? She, she's an adorable little thing. She got that bag. She's got she's got those uh, hamster hamster cheeks. Uh, <clears throat> and those weren't the cheeks that Jeff was clapping. No, because was, Jeff ended up clapping some other cheeks. That's right. He had an affair. She took. She got like seventy billion. In the divorce settlement? Here, I got something to show you that... That's that, a big divorce settlement. That, uh... The, that's related to cheating. Oh, no, not that one. <laughs> you watching, watching Jake Sartorius Vines? If I miss this shot, I gotta cheat on my girl. You ready? Oh, man, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you got into TikTok recently. Yes, I, I've been binging TikTok, and I created an account um, that I'm not gonna make public, because this is... I want to... It's weird. I, it sounds, it's like, do you not enjoy Twitter or Instagram when I say this? But, like, I want to enjoy a social media uh, platform. And so I'm not going to make anything uh, for TikTok. I just like. You're not going to do any dances? No. I'm gonna, I just like liking stuff and scrolling through. It really is just like Vine again. Like, I'll be up at night scrolling through, laughing my ass I off. think that TikTok is, is. <clears throat> I love it. it. It's what Vine was. And then it went, like, light years beyond it with the obscurity and the. Wildness of it. Yeah, I hope you like fucking China selling your information. That's buddy. I have. I have heard that. I. I no, I, it's true. I mean, like, I mean, TikTok. I remember before TikTok was big. I remember <clears throat> the only time I would ever see TikTok was on like Chinese videos because it was a, it's a Chinese company, mm-hmm. and their own. You know for a fact they're selling your information. Whatever. Well, at this at this point, like, I have WhatsApp on my phone to talk to my cousin who lives in Thailand because mm-hmm. uh, that's the only way she'll talk to me is through WhatsApp. And uh, I guarantee they're doing the same thing. WhatsApp is owned by Facebook, so. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> also, I'd like, I don't know. There comes a point where it's just kind of. You can't avoid the information yeah. selling. You're like, well, fuck it. We're I'd, ra- the same I'd, boat on I'd it. rather enjoy TikTok. Thank you. I found some really funny ones that make me laugh out loud. No, you showed me some good ones. You showed me some really good TikToks. No, he, let me see. These, these are the recent ones. Hold up. Let me. Excuse me. I said, excuse me. I just, there's such a weird, eclectic group of people on TikTok that weren't on Vine, you know? That's the thing. It's well, like that's TikTok, the thing. Those TikTok. people are big on TikTok. Like, the people that would probably get a few likes on Vine and would be put in cringe compilations. Those people are huge and have their own fan base. People TikTok's love like cringe on TikTok. I love it. It's great. Oh, I love watching cringe on TikTok, too. And it's so easy to find it really, it's like it was zoo. hard. It's like a zoo. You're going through and just looking at different exhibits of different people. The one thing I will say that just... Tears at my heart about TikTok um, is that you can't sort by new, so I can't go to like a hashtag and sort by new. Really? Yeah, it sucks. I think it's because they, like Vine and a bunch of other social media platforms, probably had a, a problem with porn, and uh, they don't want that on their platform. So, I I guess it's the best way to kind of steer clear of it is make sure uh, the hashtags are somewhat curated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my my favorite type of Vine and TikToker, uh, it, it it really started on Vine and musically is is kind of like uh we're like a, a real pretty boy, will put on his snapback Jacob Sartorius yeah, types like put it on backwards Weekly uh, Chris Boris Johnson Boris Johnson Larson Boris Larson Boris Johnson, <laughs> Johnson is, the is the PM of the UK <laughs> yeah sorry Boris Larson uh, they'll put their snapback on just. Barely sitting atop their their bread loaf of hair. Remember uh, that I went to Mexico a few years back, and uh, I sent you a picture of that dude at the oh, airport yeah. that has had exactly like that. I don't I've know. Ne- I've never I don't know if I hat. have that picture anymore. That hat literally had like it looked like it was floating above his hair. <laughs> like, how do you like why? And I, you remember what? 
man, I can't wait to go back to the United States oh, of man. America. Yeah, that's like a. When I was in the Dude, airport, airport in Japan, I heard a bunch of guys like doing the same thing, being such assholes. And when I look and they're wearing USC Gamecock shirts, I was like, oh, of course, of course. Just my favorite thing. I think I mentioned it when I mentioned it last time, probably whenever I mentioned it last few years ago. But it's just like, dude, you were probably like in Cancun or something. You weren't like in Mexico. I mean, you were, but you're not like experiencing You're, you're in the Mexico. part of Mexico they make for white people to come. <clears throat> experience yeah. Mexico. You might as well just go on a cruise. Exactly. Um, I do enjoy cruises. I know a lot of people I've don't. I've been on one still. For me, it's just, I like being isolated with like, <laughs> okay, I like being isolated and the people that go on cruise, yeah, there's like a lot of families and stuff, but if you go to like where the adults are, then it's just like the bars and it's just a bunch of old, like depressed couples and it's like, yeah. That's all I would do on a cruise is I would, I would swim I snuck a weed pen on the last cruise I went on. I am and I calling just got the authorities. Super, I got super high in Alaska and ate some king crab legs like a motherfucker. Was that last year? Was that 2019? <clears throat> that was, yeah, 2019. All right, well, I'm going to call 2019. the FBI with an anonymous tip. Say, I know a man who went on a cruise ship <laughs> in 2019 and snuck baby. a marijuana vape pen. <laughs> yeah, I did. Hey, you little bad boy. I'm a little, little bad rascal. Boy. I was smoking. <laughs> little rascal. I was smoking and drinking. I know a lot of people that uh, just take weed pins and do not take this as advice or something you should do because I don't know the legitimacy of it because I've never done it but I've heard of a lot of my friends and a lot of people that just bring weed pins in their like luggage and their carry-on to fly to other states where it's not legal and the I TSA put it in my hasn't done anything. Bag. Like I brought I brought um like I've brought gummies and stuff before to South Carolina. Because I hear a lot of people Oops. traveling with it to states where it's not uh legal. And like the, the the TSA just doesn't care. Yeah, but it's, don't it's, take my word on that because some some kid out there is gonna be like, "Ooh!" and load his backpack full of just like Kush, and then go through the TSA. And be, Matt said I could. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you? I <laughs> was intricate, impressive. That was the long con. That was a lot. Ryan got out of his chair. <laughs> Crawled onto the ground in the corner of the room, <laughs> laid on his back, and then spun around uh, and, and 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 made a stinky. It was. It is stinky. I I we might have to take. Why is it like I don't have to shit the whole day, and then I sit down to record the podcast, and my body's like, oh, time to take a you shit. Multiple. We're almost running out of toilet paper at the office. Fuck. How much do we have? Here, I'm gonna go get the roll. Well, I I got. I'm gonna have to shit soon. That's stinky. Hey guys, we're at that part of the podcast where we're talking about shit again. Oh, that's enough. I'd say we have enough for two poops each. Okay. I'm going to be... Or uh, one Jackson poop. Let's not let Jackson... Let's tell Jackson we're out of toilet paper. Here, I'll put it right here so you can... Uh... Here's what I'll do. You know what? To ration that, before I go to the bathroom, I'll take it off and you can see how much I take. And I'll only take that much into the bathroom. Someone noticed how I uh, unravel toilet paper. I want to see if, like, how you do it. Here, so like if you're gonna wipe, oh the way you did it in that video yeah that's how I always do it that's that was a lot of toilet paper huh that was a lot of toilet no paper. I didn't I don't ever use that much oh, okay. but like for example like so let's say the toilet paper is right here next mm -hmm. to me that's what I'm gonna do so Matt let's just like unravels it and then rips it a little bit and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll do this ready fold fold wipe but fold again here let me let me show you so let's see what you do Watch. Mr McGee see like if it's right here I'll just like it's already, you know how yeah. it goes down. I'll wrap it around. Okay. It's, it's like already folded. It's like brass knuckles almost on your hand. Yeah, it's already folded. Paper. It's like on you like a glove. You go, and then you can like whoop, you know, sandwich it. Just get it in there. <sighs> Take a Dude, Ryan, you Take a fucking whiff. asshole! Stop. Oh. Well, we just um wasted two wipes of toilet paper. Well, I'm gonna use this. Use that. one. I'm not too. using that one that you just farted on and threw at me. Why not? Because you put it like pretty much up your ass to demonstrate. I that. have clothes on, Matt. Yeah, that doesn't fucking matter. Like the particles and the, the kinetic and thermal energy. What are you gonna catch pink eye in your ass? No, it's just unsanitary. Since we're talking about shit right now on the podcast, we've reached that point. I uh, make it quick, make it snappy. Well, I I stumbled upon uh. Uh, a vit Ryan. That I love is eating ice. 
Remember, like, if you would eat ice in school, the teacher would be like, that's so bad for you. Stop it. It is bad, but fuck it. Man. And people, some people, like, hate the sound of eating ice. Oh, dropped an ice cube. Oops. Slipped I'm a out messy of your eater. Mouth. Oh, you, Ryan dropped an ice cube, picked it up, and put it back in his mouth. Anyway, I stumbled upon this video, this, uh, this this guy, I guess. Um, I'm gonna talk about it because he, he's pretty well known. Apparently, I, I did some research, so I'm not. What's his name? His name is Tom Pearl. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I couldn't watch. So I said, I said, Ryan, watch this video, and it's this. So this... set the scene. Okay, come in yesterday to the office. This is one of the first things you start telling me about. I say, Ryan, I found a video I need to show you, and and he goes, Okay, yeah, and, and I pull it up. The video is so imagine. Uh, Shitty, shitty camera quality filming in a, a room of a house that's empty, um, kind of like a, a dimly lit corner. Uh, a naked middle-aged man steps into frame and squats down in front of the camera and goes, Hi, my name is Tom Pearl and I'm going to eat my diarrhea for you. <laughs> and he's got he has such a, a, a gleeful smirk on his face. He's excited. He's like, he's like, I finally have some diarrhea and I'm so excited. but want to do this for a while. So first, let's get the piss. And he, he steps back. And he gets a wine glass and he fills it with piss. And yellow, it's yellow just, piss. It's very like I, I have yellow piss. You know, mo I'd say a majority of the time my piss is probably not as yellow. My as piss his is, is never that yellow though. That's no, no, like no. some dehydration that's, shit. That's like what? That's like food coloring yellow. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But like you know, mine I would say is like a, a light lemonade a tinge, yellow, a tinge, a tinge of, of lemonade yeah, yellow, Chick Fil A lemonade, exactly. And uh, without you know, the pulp. He, he fills, well, unless I masturbated. Yeah. He fills the glass and sets it to the side. Uh, and, he, and he gets a nice clear glass bowl. And uh, this is where Ryan walked away. He Well, I watched him unload into it for a you bit. You did. He, he, so he unloads. Imagine a, a, a soft It's after machine. he was done and started to turn around where all of a sudden it started to hit me. Where I'm like, oh, he's about to put it in his mouth. Yeah. So he, and he sprays it into the bowl. Like, yeah. <laughs> And he goes, oh, and he walks towards the camera with it. And he's like, look at that. And he's, he's, he's ecstatic about this. Um, and and my, my favorite part of it is how genuinely surprised he is that it stinks. Like, it's like, it's like he didn't expect. He's like, oh, that's stuff oh, that stinks. It's like, no shit or literally all shit. That's what it is. That's why it smells bad. And <laughs> he goes and he fetches himself a spoon and Ryan's like, oh, no, 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 no. And, I um, run, start gagging. Like Ryan I'm gagging starts bad. gagging, and he he runs like Ryan's like, Ugh! and before he even puts it in his mouth. And Ryan, my favorite part is Ryan runs into the bathroom for where you just took a fresh shit, and and so in my head I'm trying to get away from the idea <laughs> of eating shit, and then you really smell it, and he ran out gagging even and it's harder. It's like in my throat in the bed, like I'm like, <gasps> I was cracking up. Anyway, Tom Pearl proceeds to. Uh, Get his spoon in there, and he goes. He has. He go. gave himself a chocolate milk mustache. Ah, oh, but it's the worst. My the most <clears> interesting <throat> part is like he clearly doesn't enjoy it, but he does. He's like, <laughs> like he'll put in his mouth. <laughs> he's not like, throwing Ugh. up. So you know, he, he doesn't. Can't not he just it gags a bunch, and he proceeds to eat the whole thing and wash it down with a big glass of piss. And then he goes. At the end of the video, he's got tears in his eyes, and his voice is hoarse, and he goes, "My name is Tom Pearl." And I'm so proud I ate my diarrhea. <laughs> the, 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 the next video that you posted was um, uh, he he shit a log and put it in a as if it were a hot dog and ate Tom it. Pearl eats a shit dog. <laughs> he eats a shit dog. He, he, he just shits on a plate. And but puts his it, video titles are like, proudly eats a shit yeah, dog. Yeah, I think the video I, I stumbled upon was called uh, Sicko Tom Pearl Proudly Eats His Diarrhea. <laughs> yep. And uh, I don't know what it is about those videos. Like... When I think about... Could the, it be I, that he's eating shit? Yes, but like... <laughs> why, why, 100%. Yes. But why do I have such an involuntary like reaction to gag? Even like with the milking shit? Like there's just something about where I can just picture it and I imagine it perfectly. Like in my... Like I'm the one doing it. Well, you're saying... Because I empathize with, with whatever I'm looking at, I guess. You're saying this as if you feel like you have some sort of problem and you're some odd person. Now, I promise you 99% of people watch that video. They're going to react the same way you did. Yeah, but like the thing is you, you'd think after all like the shit I talk about and do and uh, have seen on the internet, like I'd be able to Talking take Talking shit's different from eating shit. True. Very different. Uh, you, you, have a, you have a vivid imagination. And, well, and like I get close to Legos poop and I have to smell it and I pick it up, not with my hands. <laughs> no, no, with your hands. <laughs> Just wash them afterwards. What's the what's the big deal? I used to I used to gag when I, because uh, I never had to pick up my dog's poop because they'd always poop in the backyard and it just decay. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. And but 
when I first got Lego, I, I wasn't used to like picking up dog shit. Oh, I remember disgusting. gagging the first few oh, times, horrible. like picking it up because I'm like, this is just shit. This I used to have just... to do that. But uh, now it's just normal. But I wonder if I start if so, does that mean if I start watching his videos religiously and I will gag? Well, I get to a point where I'm just like, no, nah, this is just another shit video. You probably sensitize yourself. I was just uh, very, I'm just intrigued on on the uh, the existence of those videos. There's a lot of them too. There's mm -hmm. like 18 or so that I found. And uh, I, well, for someone who shits themselves almost on a monthly basis, not monthly, I would say, not monthly. I'd say bi monthly. Bi monthly, ba oh yeah, bi, that, bi monthly in the sense of every other month, not twice a month. <laughs> yes, because that that can mean both, I guess. <laughs> But I just I'm curious of the existence because he 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 seems very um, like he doesn't seem aroused or anything. He just seems very excited and very proud to eat his own. He's like, I'm so proud that my diary is in my stomach. I love drinking piss. I, but he clearly is, he's gagging the whole time. It's it, my first thought was like, is this guy being blackmailed? Is this like like someone's blackmailing him to make? Is these it videos? almost like a Chris Chan situation? That's what I thought at first, but I I, be I believe he enjoys this. Chris Chan did make a cake fart video. We did see that. Is no, Chris Chan not a character anymore? Is it still like the 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 brand and everything? Chris. She Chan? She still goes by Chris Chan. Yeah. Okay. So you can you could still call her Chris Chan for sure. But not. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I. I I I, f I was thinking maybe for Patreon, you and I could make a Tom Pearl style video. Uh, enjoy the ad break. Support for Super Mega Cast, you know, your boys, is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the belt grooming. If you catch my drift, Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Man, you know, since quarantine, I'm rocking a straight up jungle of a bush down there. I've seen, it's pretty intense. I felt like there was nothing I could do. You know, there was, I, I, I took a straight razor and I started whacking at it. I just I just cut up my ding dang area. Yeah, you're you're pretty much just like a lone explorer in a South American jungle with a rusty machete. But not anymore. <gasps> I got Manscaped. Clean that shit up, Matt. Look at this shit. Let me let me see it. Hold up. I'm actually showing. Look at that. Whoa! Oh oh, he's not lying, ladies. That is smooth. Ryan, that's exactly why Manscaped has redesigned the electric trimmer. The Manscaped engineering team spent 18 whole months perfecting the greatest ball hair trimmer ever created and just released the new and improved Lawn Mower 3.0, which Ryan used to shave his nuts. Yeah, it's their third generation trimmer that features a cutting edge ceramic blade to prevent manscaping accidents. Millions of sacks are about to be nick free thanks to Manscaped's advanced skin safe technology. Manscaping accidents are finally a thing of the past. The battery will last up to 90 minutes, so you can take a longer shave. If you want to sit there for 90 minutes and really manscape, go for it. One of the coolest features is the LED light, which illuminates grooming areas for a closer and more precise trimming. You can really illuminate that space, fellas. They've also upgraded to a 7,000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology. And let's not forget about the charging stand. Show your mower off loud and proud because this intelligently designed stand is a convenient charging dock powered by USB. So you can have it on your desk at work, technically. If you're listening to us speak right now, we want you to experience it firsthand for yourself. Trim that groin of yours today. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code SUPERMEGA20 at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. That's right. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code SUPERMEGA20 at manscaped.com. Check the link in the description. My name is Tom Pearl. <laughs> I need some diarrhea for you. Hey guys, my name's Tom Pearl. I got a YouTube channel I just started in a Patreon. Haha, <laughs> what's up, Spotify? It's Tom Pearl. Hey guys, you like Tom Pearl? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bob Saget here. Do you like Tom Pearl? And we're back. That's all the shit talk for, uh... This is the only podcast with a lot of shit talk, but not in the sense you would think. It's like, yeah. what's Super Mega Cast like? It's like, oh, it's nothing but shit talk. It's like, oh, who do they talk shit oh, about? Oh, damn, like, no. drama. They talk about shit a lot. Well, I've kind of, I don't know, I've kind of fell off of paying attention. Like, I still get on social, but, like, I just don't care what's going on in kind of, like, the YouTube sphere of, like, the influencers and shit. Oh, like, just YouTube drama? Yeah. Yeah, I, YouTube... I just, it's, it it's doesn't high matter. It's high school it's, shit. Yeah, it just, it, none of it fucking affects me. And, like, it's just, I don't know, it... I just, it just gets boring. I, I agree with you because I, I think that, 
as adults, we're just trying to do what we're doing with Super Mega. And uh, oh, just God. try to try to have fun doing it and make people laugh and all that drama shit. Like uh, all these other channels, they get into all the drama shit and all these scandals and things. It's like, I just want to make shit and have fun. I don't like, I, I leave that shit in high school. Well, it's a weird thing where these, <clears throat> um, like the drama is I'll just marketing. Yeah. Like, it's yeah, not, yeah. like it is real drama. Like people do really shitty things, but... In the grand scheme of things, it's just, it's, it it's advertisement. Yeah. And and I want to like, like. Whether like, intentional or not. Yeah. And, and we just want to make shit and not. Uh, that's the thing. It's like, why, why, do I, why would I subject myself to all that toxic shit when I can just go home and crack a beer? And Sometimes it's fun to peruse it. You it know, is like fun. A, like Sometimes, a tabloid. Yeah. But as of recent, I've just like, I have not. It all just. So mostly people I don't know at this yeah. point. I remember in the beginning, or people of Super Mega, I have never cared to grow close to. Yeah, because in the beginning of Super Mega, I remember all, the drama was a lot more f- fun because that that was during that classic era of YouTube drama where it's like Leafy, Keemstar, H three H three. Keemstar is still oh Keemstar kicking. is still kicking Snapchat sure, yeah. and all. Yeah, every time I, I go love on Snapchat, it. I see it. He's such a uh, he he he's um I'm not gonna say smart, but he's a wizard when it comes to being a jackass. Um, That's his whole thing. So he buys his Spotify, uh, Spotify. he buys his uh, Snapchat spots. And since he hates like uh, H3H3, last time I went on, the, the thing was just like H3H3 lies to his fans. And like, I'm just like, oh. But I watched that same one. He doesn't talk about it until the very end. So you have to go through the entire that's, No, that's probably story. like how, it, how it's always. Yeah, it up. always is. That's why I don't watch those things. You, or like, or I'll, I'll get two panels into one where it's like, this mother saved her child. And it's like, whoa. And then, it, and then it'll go like this. This mother did not know what was about to happen as she was driving. Add. And then it's. Young Morgan was driving her car on a rainy day, and she had her child in the back. They were listening to Maroon 5, but unfortunately, something was in the distance. As they were enjoying Maroon 5, something kept getting closer in the distance, but they couldn't pay attention to it right now, because they were having a conversation on which pasta is more healthy for you to eat. And then the next part will be about, like, (laughs) like pasta. And then, you, and then you skip like three three of the panels to see, and then it just never goes back to it. And you're like, what the fuck? And you're like, oh, at some point, I guess I was supposed to swipe up to read more. Yeah. <laughs> and then it'll, it'll, Snapchat, it'll, I hate Snapchat. It'll just be like, you'll get to the end, and it's like, and then Morgan saw it. A, a, a lone pebble in the road that could de- derail their whole vacation if, if hit in the right angle. <laughs> she quickly dodged two inches to the left and saved all the occupants' lives. And then that's the end. And subscribe don't for forget, more. between every two panels, there's like a really annoying ad. Or with the with the yellow bar that's like, five more seconds until you get to continue. <sighs> I hate Snapchat, dude. Snapchat just... Also, I have some weird glitch. So I don't... I, I rarely use Snapchat anymore. Maybe to keep in touch with like some friends from college. Or uh, sometimes, you know, if I need to send a video of myself blowing shit into the toilet to you. Or the yeah. Tucker Bros. Uh, but I, I have notifications fully off for Snapchat. My Snapchat's on private. I have notif- notifications off for all apps because I was telling you yesterday yeah. how <clears> – <throat> sorry, I need to clear my throat. I get anxious whenever I see the badges, so I turn all the badges off. And so for me to check to see if anyone has sent me anything or if there are any updates on Twitter or Instagram, I physically will have to go into the app. So it's just like, OK, I'm going into the app. I'm checking shit. So I'm so I'm not constantly like Twitter like now. So Twitter's not – constantly through like updating me throughout the day they're not I, it's not invading your life yeah i'm That's invading smart. twitter twitter's not invading me dude bitches <sighs> fuck social media man i i would love to take twitter instagram all that off my phone mm. but, i like instagram i, I, I like it's... instagram too i just i just wish that i could step back from social media because it co- it does cause me a lot of anxiety and, um, you can't step back. It's just, I guess it's just tricky with what we do for, for work. Yeah, but all the same time, like, look at me. I'll go, like, a month to something without tweeting. I mean, you have more followers, so I guess, like, your point's proven there. But I feel like I haven't, like, lost much. No, no, not at all. You know what I mean? No, not at all. <laughs> so I, it's like, I feel like if you want to take a break, you should, especially if it's, like, just to better your mental health. A lot of big YouTubers have even done that. Where like you can even set it up if you're if you're nervous you can Q tweets Q yeah. tweets and then not and t- I just get I not just touch get, it stepping away from social media gives me anxiety and I hate that why 
uh, almost like a form of FOMO, fear of missing out. Oh, okay. Where it's like, uh, I, I get this fear where it's like if I step away and I'm not, I'm not uh, there, it's like what's happening that I don't know about? Like, am I out of the loop on things? Yeah, but then like the thing is you check social media, you're not missing out on much, right? No, no, exactly, exactly. It's I think it's just an addiction because it, you do it so much, you just get that little like, I like supporting like the people I follow with, yeah, you know, I'll go through though, shit. and I'll be like, I, it's like a fridge. I have, like, I'll know nothing's there, but I'll keep coming back and checking it every mm-hmm. five minutes. Uh, and, and I'm just so sick of it. I would say, like, I only really, the, the social media site right now that I check the most is either going to be Reddit or TikTok. Reddit is not social for me and neither is TikTok. So that's probably why I check them the most. It's purely just entertainment for me, the two of them. Uh, whether it's being informed or just having yeah. some entertainment on Reddit or just pure entertainment on TikTok. With with Twitter and Instagram and Facebook or anything like that, it's – I guess I just don't like putting in my personal effort into like – it's it's exhausting to just have to be on all the time. Absolutely. And so, like, I definitely feel what you're talking about, and that's why I feel like I derive more entertainment, and probably more screen time from the the apps that center more around like entertainment, but are also social media apps. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I like I just like tweeting <clears throat> dumb shit, but like Instagram, I never know what to post. I'm tweeting Facebook, more. Facebook, I don't even use. <laughs> I tweeted. You like, are. I like it. I tweeted like I, I want to see if this is my record. Let's see. I I personally tweeted one, two, three times this month oh i posted four times last month so no i didn't beat a record of any kind shit bro it's okay but you know it's okay man i, I only post pictures just tweet out your support for I'm joe doing. biden <laughs> I, I, no just keep keep i don't i don't support. support joe biden are you fucking kidding me right now ryan no no i'm just kidding i don't fuck think, joe biden i don't think he's a candidate that uh, supports kind of my views or at least what I picture as a president neither does Donald Trump so here's a here's a good way to put it and and sum it up fuck Joe Biden and fuck Donald Trump end of conversation Mm -hmm. that's a real simple way to put it they both suck it's just like 2016 for me not epic do I need some ice to chew on we do it dude for this year's snowy mega cast let's chew ice the entire time get that kind of like frost (laughs) can we do ice chewing ASMR that is a thing for sure. Wait, hold on. It's like I'm I'm a cartoon character walking on a lake of ice. <laughs> While Ryan was doing that, some ice did fall out of his mouth. And I saw you try to like catch it real like real instinctively <laughs> and it still slipped through. Where is it now? Is it in your gooch? Eric, yep. Oh, I am not. Oh. I was scared you were going to do a what are the odds that I'd have to eat that ice. <laughs> God. You are. What are you doing? I'm wiping the water off. Oh. Seat. Okay, it makes a lot of sense. I, I, I was mesmerized. I love by this it. seat. That's a nice seat. I love mine. It's real cozy. I like how we got to choose our own seat. I, I like this podcast room. I want to decorate it a lot more. It needs to be I decorated. Wanna, I want to get like. Christmas lights. We got the Delta Farce poster Della B sent us. We got to put that up. We got to put that up on the door right there. Yeah, we should. I mean, we got, let's put some Christmas lights. We need some plants, some more plants in here. We need uh, some little decorations. I like when we light candles during the podcast too. There's one right in the center. I have seen a bunch of new movies that I've never seen. You have. I've only, I think, yeah, I've only seen one movie since last time the podcast. I I think we talked on the podcast. But you've seen a lot. I have watched, uh, I watched Apocalypse Now, which was fucking fantastic. Um, I still need to see, I think that's on my watch list. It's Francis Ford Coppola. It's awesome. It's so good. So well done. Um, Coppola. It was only made, it was made in 1979. So it's only made like nine years or so after the Vietnam War, eight or nine years. So it's pretty close to when the Vietnam War happened. Uh, And then, let me see. That's that classic movie with, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Yeah. Very good. And- the guy's name was Sergeant Kilgore, which is in Delta Farce. So that's a Delta Farce was referencing that. I also watched a fantastic movie by the director of The Exorcist called uh, Sorcerer. Uh, How about do you spell that? Sorcerer. Oh, sorcerer. Yeah. Did I say it weird? Sorcerer. Sor- I thought I thought you were saying sorcerer. I, I, I pronounce words like sorcerer. Sorcerer. 
I love that poster. That's a beautiful fucking poster. Dude, you would have you seen that? Mm-hmm. That well, I told you the movie is about four guys in like the South American jungle that have to transport uh two truckloads of TNT uh two hundred miles to the jungle, but the TNT is really old. Mm-hmm. So the slightest like bump or touch will make it explode. And it's so stressful because it's all these unpaved jungle mountain roads, like cliff roads, uh, rope bridges that are like barely going to hold the weight and swinging during a storm. It's they'll be like, I'll have like, to watch that. It's it's amazing. The tension. I don't think I've ever seen a movie that built anxiety and tension like that. I was sitting there just like, oh. and it's got it's got some good ass. Scenes. I like thrillers. Thrillers are one of, probably one of like my favorite. It's not a subgenre, but my. My favorite uh, genre included because usually things aren't just thrillers. Usually it's like a drama thriller, suspense thriller, horror and thriller. Comedy can also have thriller aspect. Yeah. Um, There's a backstory to it, of course, where the movie, it's, it's about four guys that all came from different backgrounds. One's like a, a terrorist from Israel. One's like a guy from France that committed financial fraud. So it's all about these like different criminals that I guess uh, ran away mm-hmm. from crime and end, just ended up like living a new life in a village in South America which is like miserable for them yeah and uh they take this job because well like an oil rig explodes mm-hmm. and the only way to put it out the fire before it like destroys everything is they using TNT uh so they have to go do it and it's oh my god it's stressful but it, it's fucking awesome um, I'll definitely have to watch it you should you should you also saw Deepwater Horizon speaking of oil rigs exploding I saw Deepwater Horizon on the anniversary on 420 and I only watched it Paul I, Greengrass, yeah. the man, the man with the shaky cam. He did Captain Phillips too, right? Mm-hmm. That you know, you know what he's most famous for? Uh, the Bourne series. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> did Paul Greengrass do? Yes, he did. It's so good. Well, I said that as if it's like the best movie of all time. I like Deep Water Horizon. I okay. I thought the story was dumb. I thought the story. Oh my like, god! The whole the whole thing's exploding. The whole thing's blown up. Oh my god! I'm pissed off. Is there a Vietnamese man I could beat with a golf club? <laughs> Fucking uh, the, and the whole the whole thing with like the daughter, where it's like, my daddy tames the dinosaurs. Like I, that I was in the trailer. I think, yeah, right. They, I don't need that whole sub storyline. I just wanted to see the oil. Would, would a child actually come up with that dialogue? No. My daddy tames. And the I dinosaurs. thought I thought it was dumb with some of the. Or do you think she, that it's supposed to be like he told her that, and so she's like, "My daddy says he tames the dinosaurs." I think the child's a savant. I think the child's a genius. My dad tames the dinosaurs. And by dinosaurs, I mean my mom. <laughs> I saw fucking uh, oh, like bitch. the great foreshadowing. You know when she's using the coke can as a as as, as like an oil rig. I haven't seen the movie. You haven't seen it? No. Oh, I thought you saw it. I haven't seen any of these. Movies. I gotta say, dude, I wasn't interested going into it because it seemed like one of those kind of gung ho movies, like it is. kind of American Sniper. It and I, I saw American Sniper, and it's 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 not a hor- it's not a bad movie. It's it's a fine movie, but I don't know. I've I've never been interested in kind of like the the like propagandist movies. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Clint Eastwood, sorry, I forgot him. Clint Eastwood kind of makes a lot of those. Movies like Zero Dark Thirty. Yeah, but he, he's not usually like... The thing that I will say is that sounds good about Zero Dark Thirty. It's not like overtly. I mean, no. they do have the American flag waving and shit. Well, yeah, they, they're going to have that inspired. stuff, of course, because <clears throat> it's Louisiana. But yeah. I got to say, the special effects... What's wrong design, with having the American flag in a movie? It's gay. Commie. It's 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 unbelievably uh, special effects were incredible. The scene where the oil rig is exploding, like one of the best explosion scenes I've ever seen in a movie. Have you seen the explosion scene? No, I haven't seen anything. It's of it. fucking insane. Like the the effects and the sound design, it's like the biggest explosion scene you could you can have. It just goes on and on and on. Bigger than the one in Rampage starring Dwayne the Rock Johnson, where a giant albino gorilla and giant lizard fight in a in a city. I haven't. Uh, yeah, bigger. Hmm. I, um, and then there's also, my favorite thing is like, there's a BP oil executive that's on the oil rig. He's this old white dude that looks like my dad, but he has like that real strong. Who's he played by? I don't know, but he has a real strong Creole accent. And I, I forgot how much I love the like Louisiana accent. Like the real strong, like, now you're here. There ain't no oil coming up from the well, you hear? (sighs) So good. It's made from all infected individuals. That's how he talks. Got that southern drawl. And Stay indoors. I saw one more. 
saw one more movie. I saw Mad Max Fury Road. That's a good movie. Well, I've you've met, already seen it, right? Mm -mm. No, I've that's never good. seen any Mad Max movies. That one, I really like. That I watched one. it last night. It was fantastic. It was. Uh, I want to see the black and white version because apparently, I, yeah. stylistically, the director, it's not just putting it in black and white for a fuck it. It's going to be. He wanted it to be reason. black and white, right? Yeah. But then, from marketing, whatever reason, they didn't want to do that. Same reason why I want to um, watch uh, Logan in black and white. The is there a black and white version? Mm-hmm. Because. The way they do shadows and stuff is very noir sometimes, mm -hmm. and that effectively is shown a lot more. Like the contrast is a lot more noticeable in black and white. So stylistically, like I, I think there's 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 room to enjoy something in black and white. But then there's stuff like the short film I did in the afterlife where we did it because it it looked better than We've the color there. than the you color know, the, we the had. Good old college student films, and it, and it went films. well with the themes of the short film, yeah. I guess. But I really, uh, I, that'd be really interesting to shoot something in black and white with the intention of knowing there's gonna be no color. So you got to get creative and it's and do the shots differently. Where it's like, it's all about the lighting. Like fuck the color. It's all about just the shadows and the lighting. And that'd be really cool. That'd be a fun experiment. That'd be fun to do that on film. Ooh. But then you know you can't really see what you're shooting. I want to get a film camera. Carson uh, has a bunch of film cameras and and I've seen him shoot with them and. Uh, they're so cool because he has ones where like the the viewfinder is basically just like a mirror. So mm -hmm. when you look into the camera, it's like a box that you look inside, uh, down into from the top, and you there's like a mirror. Well, and that's every, how it, that's how light. Get, yeah, the camera and, and everything is just mirrored. It's all mm -hmm. reversed. So if I move it this way, everything goes the other way, and it's just so cool. And I would I want to try shooting shit on film. Uh, he develops his own film, and I have no idea how to do that shit. But I want to shoot something YouTube film. tutorials. Yeah, that's probably how he learned. Looks like he's cooking meth though. Because he'll come in his room and he's got like all these like bottles of chemicals and like the lights are off and it's he, all red. He lives just like an artist, like I would picture it. He, he his room kind of reminds me of Tucker's room. Yes. Where it's kind of like you know the the canvases are everywhere. Yep. The supplies are down on the floor. He's got the artist's room. Yeah. He's got the artist's <clears throat> brain. There's always like the typical artist room, and I'd say I'm disappointed that he doesn't have the mattress on the floor, like. Most artists do. Well, he has a he has a bed frame from IKEA. Okay, so I about as equal. My mattress, my bed frame is not here yet, so my mattress is on the floor right now. I have the foundation under. Did it. you get the an IKEA um, bed frame? No, I got I got a bare bed frame because I got a bare mattress, but I put the uh, put that shit uh, on the floor right now because I don't have those. My uh, my IKEA one's still working strong. It's like a, good it's a it's, for, there's, for what it's worth. IKEA makes some decent shit. <clears throat> it's got some shit I think that's too expensive for what Ikea is, but there is a lot of good cheap stuff from Ikea that's like, oh, perfect. Yeah. Because, like, that's the thing is if you're going to spend $500 on a piece of furniture, like, you're better off going to, like, a, a vintage furniture place and getting, like, an actual uh, nice piece of furniture that is, like, built nice as Or you go to, to a garage sale. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm and, sorry. And, and, and help, help. Help your fellow man. I'm talking about small businesses, man. This is a garage is the smallest business I can think of. A Apple started in a garage. Disney started in a fucking garage. Super America started in Markiplier's garage. Oh yeah, well Syndigo started in a frog in a house. So many people don't know what a frog is. Every time I say frog, front room like, what? On garage? Over garage? I Over think? garage. Yeah. It's it's you know houses. Second, two, like two-story houses that will have a room on top of a garage. It's literally That's the only second-story room in the whole house, usually. At least in, in where I live. Like, there was no set. It was a two-story house. Well, it wasn't. It looked like a one-story. Your room was the frog. My room was the frog, yeah. yeah. The blue room. Yeah, and then connected to the frog, it was like, I had two side doors that... And then uh, another door, and they both connected to just a huge attic area. I hated that because... I had a huge attic off of my room at night, and when I was a kid and I moved into this house, I was so scared uh, of this attic because it was creepy. Look inside; it's just insulation and just a dark tunnel. Mm -hmm. And it's my house was, uh, you know, the one I grew up in. It's it was like a wooden house built in the '60s or '70s, so it's gonna creak around. It's gonna settle. So. I'd be laying in bed and I would just hear like a thump from inside that attic and I would just be scared. I'd just lay in bed, like, petrified. And then the worst part was uh, when I was a kid, I didn't understand like how vacuum 
stuff worked. Mm -hmm. So, so, you know, I'd be laying in bed and my sister would like shut her bedroom door and then my attic door would slowly creep open. Or I'd go to shut my door to feel safer and then I'd just watch the- The air would push it forward. And I'd watch the attic door just- And I'm like, (gasps) (gasps) so scary. I'm still a little baby when it comes to that stuff. Um, Because- because Mandy pissed on my bed, I had to sleep on the couch a couple nights in my living room, and I was just laying in my living room. Just well, like, stuff falls in your living room a lot, in terms of like, like there's been two times where I've been over where something like falls over, and I'm like, we all look at each other, we're like, that was on the center of the table. That's only when you're over. <laughs> really? Because I, 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 you said you said some stuff was happening like before I came over, and that's why I noticed it. I took notice because like, oh. I'm noticing when Jackson was in his old room in the house, he switched mm-hmm. rooms. There was shit, and he moved out, and it stopped. I don't think the ghost wanted him in that room. Or nobody's in that room right now. Oh, shit. So now the ghost is pleased. And when I come over, they're like, is that the person that's going to take the room now? I, I, that was weird. We, you were over, and on my, my dining room table, uh, there, there was like a, the top of a drink mixer in the middle of the table on top of a So the top Susan. of the drink mixer was on the drink mixer. I don't know if it was on right? the drink mixer or if it was just on the Lazy Susan. Okay. But somehow it still fell on the floor when no one was there. And I mean, there's no, there's no cat. No cat. There is no open windows, no the airflow. That, it's heavy. It's metal. It's made out of metal. The girls didn't do it. No. And when I, whenever I reference the ladies or the girls... I'm talking about I'm, no. <laughs> I'm talking about uh, Matt's three beautiful orchid mantises that he's taking care of and fathering. They stopped getting big fast. They got started getting big and they just kind of like slowed down. They'll, they'll get big again. They'll get big. I got spraying with the growth hormones. I got. I got some Infowars Alex Jones growth supplements. I'm gonna spritz them with every day. I'm still like just kind of uh, kind of letting the feeling ride out because I'm like, do I want a fish? Do I want a hamster? What do do I want to add something to my Dude, to my household. Hamsters. I love hamsters too. Uh, I'd get the um. I I think I'd get the. Uh, there's another dwarf hamster that's not the Chinese dwarf because they. I don't think Robot. they can sell giant uh, Chinese dwarf hamsters in California. Talking about the Russian ones. It's like Robarovsky. Not the long haired Russian one. No, no, no. They're they're little tiny ones. They're called like Robarovsky dwarf hamsters. I used to be obsessed with. I hamsters. want the white one. Dude, they're oh they're cute. But man. those are uh. There's no more like purebreds of whatever the white ones are called because they uh. They mix them too much. Ooh, dude, I want a hamster so bad. They just the one thing that stops me from getting a hamster is just they they smell bad. Not as bad as ferrets or chinchillas. Oh no, no way. But a hamster is definitely pigs. like hamster piss is not a good smell. But hamsters are one of the cutest pets. Um, just watch them like dig little nests and like run on their wheel and stuff. If, I think like for me, like the one rodent where it would be the last I'd buy <clears throat> because of anything, it would be a guinea pig. Mm. I'd get a rabbit before a guinea pig. Just because guinea pigs, they're like, if any guinea pig turned into a human, it would be some fat redneck with overalls. Yes, 100%. I, the only thing I don't like about <laughs> guinea pigs is how wiry their fur is. Mm-hmm. It feels a little weird. Also, the spider moved. It's oh, not yeah, above it's over me. There. It's, all, it's going towards you now. It's it's almost all well, the you way heard across it, the You heard its feelings. Hey, buddy, no, come back. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. He's being a little too... Ca- just... just Fucking walk, dude. Dude, he's got he's he's a fragile. I'm, wait, I want to see if he like now, reacts to like a bigger spider. Wait, wait, wait. Now that Wanda's gone and her babies are gone, this is the next saga. Oh, he has a web over there. I'm gonna go. What's he? I can't see. Can you touch it? Oh, oh, oh my God! He's yeah. going down. I don't know where he is now. Well, he's on the floor now, well, beneath our feet. He shouldn't have run off. Hello. He, uh, Ryan, Ryan gently touched him and he decided to descend from his web very quickly on a string. It would have made that sound with a xylophone. <laughs> He's like, I've been found out. He'll be back. Yeah. He'll climb back up. He's just taking some shelter right now behind the couch on the floor. Are you wearing open-toed shoes? No, I'm wearing socks. Oh, man, how the tables have turned. I'm wearing open-toed shoes today. I know, and you're Which wearing, is, um... Where, freaking me out. Now there's a spider on the... <laughs> He's what? casting spells. Uh, <sighs> What's his name? He's gonna stay in this room. You know, he's not gonna leave this room. So he's gonna be our new podcast friend. The, the next saga yeah, of animals. I don't, I don't know. We don't know if we're gonna see him again. Did you fucking no, dude? He has webs all over the room. Okay. Now that we're looking, see the cobweb over there, and then he has a web we can't see, but he I saw him in it right there. So this is his turf, man. This is his territory. Okay, so uh, Rupert <laughs> sounds good. Rupert, it is. 
Ru- that's a weird name for a spider. Every time I hear Rupert, I think of like an like a, a pig, an old British man with or fucked up British teeth and a, and a big nose going, oh, I got that in it. I study on it. How do you pull your pants up that high? <laughs> Ryan's, Brian has tucked his shirt and pulled his pants up above his chest, like above your nipples. Nipples right here. Okay, so at the nipple But line. I could. Oh, yeah. Some stretchy pants. <sighs> What's wrong? Ryan, why are you getting up, man? What is... All right. Hold tight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Climbed onto the table on all fours. I don't know why one. the past two podcasts have been me farting into the mic. <laughs> I'll stop after this one, I promise. It'll be the farting saga. Yeah, yeah. The farting into the mic saga constantly. Well, there, there's more mm. sagas. Let's look at the saga. There's the oh, there's, jelly beans. Okay, there's the, there's the... Yeah, I wish. <laughs> there's the apartment saga. <clears throat> where we no, record. first there was the the Mark saga, right? No, like the first Super Mega Cast was recorded in our uh, apartment. I remember I the first have, episode was on our couch. I could have sworn we recorded some in Mark's place. Some super mega stuff at Mark's place. We recorded some super mega stuff at Mark's place, but those were just Let's Plays. We okay. were doing that the week we were moving out. Okay. And uh, first episode was on our couch in that old apartment in Glendale. That's, yep. Okay, yep. Uh, I sitting next now. to each other, making shake and bake. Uh, shake and, oh, the shake and, ah, shake and, shake and bake, bake was a part of the apartment saga. It's the shake and bake saga. Let's the, call the apartment the shake and bake saga. Okay. And the shake then, and bake saga lasted about a year. About almost two years. Well, you gotta think we moved into the Grumps office and started doing it there. Yeah. So, oh, so there's the there's the shake the Grumps, and bake saga. The then there's the saga. Grump saga. Then and there's the super megaplex. Saga. Then there's the yeah, we need the, a timeline super, with uh, so there's three, sagas so we, running adjacent. So we have three main sagas and then we have mini sagas. I, I want to let y'all know. I, I said that wrong. I want y'all to let us know in the comments. Uh, come up with your own sagas of Super Mega. What saga do you enjoy? There's the Tucker Brothers saga that started in 2017, yep. 2018. Jesus. You gotta shit it. You gotta go take a shit. That doesn't sound real, man. I swear to fucking Christ, you you put some fake shit up your ass. Mm-hmm. Like, before you come in here, you put a bike pump up nope. your ass and you pump it. Nope. Which I tried to do once when I was younger because I saw a video of a guy doing it where he sticks a bike pump up his ass. It works. It pu- pushes air in there. It does. It does. It hurt very bad, goes, though. <laughs> it was insane, the video I saw. It's like, it's very low resolution, some very Slavic looking man on his floor with his pants yeah. down. Shite. I oh. forgot to mention the movie I saw. Say it. Go, go for it, baby. Uh, Back to the Future Two. <gasps> That's it. Anyways, um, I like that one. <laughs> it's I liked it more than the first one because I think it. Uh, okay, I have. It's weird because the problem I have with it is linked to why I liked it more, which is odd, I guess. Um, I liked it more because it really just accepted the camp and just it's it's the perfect amount of camp. It like hit hit it perfectly the first one i was like oh i wish there was more goofiness the second one the goofiness is right up there i'm sure the second one's probably even more goofy but my problem with it is that it started to feel episodic instead of like just one standalone movie because the end the very end is an advertisement for the next one yeah and there's no like you haven't seen yet resolution have you seen the third no the Wild West, baby. Yeah, that's the one that... Well, I've seen, like, the scene. There's a train. There's a shootout. There's a there's a bunch of shit. I saw it a long time. I remember I enjoyed it when I saw it. I, 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 I'm i trying to watch more classics. Like, just classic movies I haven't seen. Uh, Back to the Future is a classic. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just trying to go down, the, like, a list of... Ba- a mental list, I guess, of, of classics. Uh, or just... Not, not even classics, but just movies like Mad Max Fury Road. Just things that, like, are popular movies I have not Set seen. Set up yourself a letterbox. Don't even, like, get on it to, like, post reviews. Just make it private and set up a watch I list I thought about doing that just to check it off for myself. And then you can see what Harrison and, like, uh, Eve Leighton has one, for example. Hmm. Okay. 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 I might Leighton's very much into horror, gore-type movies, I guess. Yeah, she's into a very specific genre of, of, of movies. Uh, like Mulholland Drive, yeah, stuff like that, which is also a very Texas good movie. Chainsaw Massacre. It's kind of like that scene in Mulholland Drive. You haven't is seen that Mulholland. wind? 
No, that's the AC. I was going to be like, damn, that's a lot of wind. Or it's a plane flying low because the CIA is spying no, on us. I think it's the AC. Hmm. Hmm. That scene in Mulholland Drive scared the fuck out of me. The homeless man? Yeah. I've only seen that scene. It's so scary. I, I was watching it at home at night. It was on a Reddit thread of the movie scenes that made you jump the most. It really made me fucking jump because it, it felt like a, it didn't feel like a movie jump. It felt like actually like a bad dream. Because it was just like, oh, sh what the fuck? Well, that's, I think, the most I've ever jumped. And I remember, like, it was the first time I'd experienced, because usually I'd hide my face and I'd hide kind of the jump scare. I'd still hear the sound, but I'd jump. But this is the first time, like, it caught me off guard in a way. Um, it's not like a great movie or anything. I, I enjoy it because it's a, a fun haunted house movie. It, it's insidious. Uh, there's a part where like the alarms going off and the mother goes in to check on the baby and like I'm thinking you know and it's James Wan is great at making these types of movies um, haunted house movies yes the the alarm downstairs went off so you're thinking the threats on the first floor somewhere in that location so she goes in to check on the baby and through the veil of the crib you see a face and you see it for like a full second and then the jump sound effect kind of like kicks in so like you notice it and then it kicks in and it startles it jolted the fuck out of me when I first saw it in theaters I think that there really is something there that I, like with facial recognition with your brain that but it has adds to, to jump scares well because I do it to you, you it I to used me. to do it to you all the time in our apartment like when you're in the corner of my room naked and just staring at me it gives me the biggest jump scare because of the fact that like before I can comprehend what it is, my brain recognizes it's a face. You know, your brain is like facial recognition. That's a face. That's mm -hmm. a that's a person. Well, eye contact too. You're making eye contact. Yeah, when you, so it's, it's like it's intimate. It's you know? like in a sense, also your brain, even though you're not registering it in your in your brain, it's going something sees you, something notices you, and you didn't notice it, type of thing. Yeah, kind of like that whole primitive thing with animals, like about making eye contact. Yeah. It's like boom, challenge. Like me with a spider, I just gave him a little fist bump, and he went whoa. He was having, he was just bungee jumping down. Like, <laughs> I know. He's like, hey, noticed me. <laughs> he was, he's a, Rupert was excited. Ryan from Super Mega. Rupert Murdoch. I got to piss, man. Okay. I might go get a wine glass and fill it up and Tom Pearl it. Oh, <laughs> okay. My name is Tom Pearl. I'm excited to eat my diarrhea for you. Well, I mean, in that case, you want to fill up two glasses and uh, end the podcast? Sounds good to me, brother. Okay. <laughs>